are getting more expensive. So are apartments, and it could change the way Habitat for Humanity operates in Central Texas. This weekend, they're dedicating homes and also easing the burden for six local families. And Chris Davis is there. And Chris, this might actually be some of the last single family homes that Habitat builds here in Austin, right? Yeah, that's right. Habitat for Humanity tells me that they're really feeling the squeeze of those skyrocketing property values, too. Now, these are some of the six homes that are going to be dedicated here tomorrow. We are in the Scenic Point subdivision out in East Austin. And this whole half of the neighborhood, both sides of the street here, either already are or will be Habitat homes. The nonprofit has been building entire neighborhoods like this around Austin for about 20 years now, but this one might be the last. The land here was donated, but much of the time Habitat is buying the lots that it builds on. A decade ago, the group says they could get a lot for 25, 30,000 bucks. Now it's four times that much or even more, and they just can't afford that and still keep the house affordable. The only way we can kind of scale up to meet the need is to build denser housing, and that's what we're doing. So we're moving into townhomes in Mueller. Uh, we have a six-story mid-rise right next to where the old restore was in central east Austin. That's coming online. Six homes here behind me, they add to 10 that Habitat has already built in this neighborhood. Over the next several years, they're going to add 51 more homes to this neighborhood. Now, families aren't going to be moving in here this weekend. Tomorrow's dedication is really just about thanking all of the volunteers and the sponsors. Still a little bit more work to do before they're ready to be lived in. We'll send it back to you. All right, Chris, thank you very much. A lot more people are considered low income here in Austin compared to last year. The new income limits that went into effect in June are 11.5% higher than the previous year. So check this out. The median income for a family of four, according to the federal government, is nearly $96,000 a year. Compare that to just 12 months ago when it was 86000 A family of four can make up to $75,500 and still qualify for affordable housing.